Hello everyone and welcome to episode 32 of the Disgaea 5 Complete LP. So, in the between episodes, I have uh, leveled up some. If you, you can't tell, I actually use martial training. Uh, and right now I have the Hot Claire equipped. It's one of the weapons I got through an item world and I upgraded it. Well, I leveled it up a bit. And I also equipped, instead of a muscle on Killy now, I have two angel shoes. That way his movement is now 9. I also went to the character world with Christo and got his movement up one. Uh, so everyone is looking pretty good on track. I've sent out some expeditions and whatnot. Uh, what? So let's just come over here and uh, check what's going on. Uh, got all these going on. And we have quite a, a decent list out right now. Um, I'm actually going to... Uh, because I believe I have some people that I need Let's to heal first. Uh, no, no, no need to heal, but Sophia's Mia, that's not bad. Um, let's actually see if that's better than any... Uh, Sophia's Mia, no. Uh, actually, Rob Dependent, yes, good. Uh, Feather Token... Royal Ring... This one should not be better than anything, yeah, because that's level 51 prof dependent. That, that's not going to be overtaken by many things soon. Um, okay, just, I'm just taking care of all this stuff because I didn't realize that Astral Orb. I also went and sold some of the glasses, some of the stuff, because I realized, like, it's just so much. Like, it's not even worth it to have all that. Uh, two royal orbs, metal of purity, it's probably fine. Yeah, there you go. And then, golden scepter. I did buy some items in the item world, so I might as well equip them. And she's just in the neat uh, one, the neat squad, so she gets XP even if she doesn't fight, which is pretty good. Uh, and I did get a new save icon. I need to turn these on anyway. Of uh, probably one of my favorite characters in the uh, in this game. Just one of them. Uh, boom, Lisa Rota. You know what? I'm just going to, uh... Ah, okay, so that's different than what I expected. She doesn't look very happy there. She looks quite sad. That's unfortunate. I still like her character, though. Uh, okay. Like go, so dude? let's go into the next fight, because now everyone's a lot stronger. So they should be doing quite a bit of damage now. And this one doesn't even have a uh, demo, so we're just going right in. It's been a while since we've had one of these. Gale Force wins. Okay, another smaller. I actually Let's remember go. this map quite well for some reason. Uh, like, it really hit my brain in the particular spot. Wow! These guys are very resistant to, uh, to uh, physical damage, so they do magic stuff. Yes, yes. And capture counts as magic, which is Let's really nice. Oh, so screw harder. you. So I'm, I'm taking you Let's home. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go fast. I'll get super oh, if he had a blue palette. Oh, I could make him a blue palette. I could make him it's Sonic. I don't even like Sonic. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I, like, Sega I isn't bad, but yeah. like, most of their games that I play nowadays are just like standard JRPGs that aren't like bad, but they're not right there. super, super good. Here I they're go. just kind of like, okay. <laughs> like you're getting what you get. How about it? All men so are I've never servants. been... I've never understood Sonic. Because I understand the concept. You, you gotta go fast. I understand that. But what I don't understand is how come a game that's about going fast, how come it seems like everything about the game is... Uh, trying to make you go slow. Like, I never understood that. It's like, you gotta go fast, you gotta go fast. But then, 90% of the problems you encounter in the game 
are physical barriers that stop you from going forward. Like, stop you dead, too. Not even, like, a slow stop. I never understood that. Like, it's, it seems very counterintuitive to have a game that's all about speed and the main thing that you face is stuff that inhibits it. Like, Mario, which is the essentially the history of Sonic, because the creator of Sonic uh, was focused on, like, one of his original thoughts hmm. was trying to get through stage 1-1 one, one as fast as possible. Because it's the easiest one. And it's understandable in Mario, because the whole concept is just to get through the level to the end so you can get to the castle to save the princess. That makes sense. But Sonic is about going fast. That's the entire thing. Get the Chaos Emerald. Or get the Chaos uh, Jewels or Emeralds or whatever. Chaos Gems. So you can even go Super Sonic to go faster. But all the things make it so you can't go as fast as you would like to. Now, I'm not sure what a like, ideal Sonic game to me would be. Because a game where you're literally just going as fast as possible and you see cool things isn't really a game, it would just be like a movie. Like a movie version of Sonic or something. But, I don't know, it just... Like, it's easier to point out imperfections than it is to make, uh... Than it is to make improvements on things. But, uh, anyway, I like JRPGs anyway, so... That stuff doesn't really apply to me, does it? Uh, my rage actually killed that person. I wasn't expecting it to. Um, yeah, so look at this. Boom. S plus. Ugh. Gonna do so much damage. So much damage. The best damage. Uh, okay. No. Okay, cool. Hellfire? Nope. Trappers? Nope. Nope. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to use you. Well, not unfortunately, just uh, not what I expected. And right now, I believe I have my mana and all men are my servants. I forget how it's. Uh, queued up in the cheat shop. My bad. I uh, might as well just use it, because one is, uh, the higher the level, the more damage the skill does, and the less it costs, I believe. So, might as well just use it whenever possible, especially since it only costs one SP. And man, when you get MVP first on certain stages, it just goes. Like, the martial training ones are insane. And that one was literally just like, okay, cool. Like, here's the standard to get to five battles in one thing. Like, uh, this one, it's the same map, but because you did it, uh, it just has different people alignments, and you just didn't get to choose to do the second one, I believe. Let's fix you up. Okay. Uh, and Jeez, so let's check out the best. cheap shop, see where, it, see, see where it's at. So it's 150 for XP, mana is at 140. So what I'm actually going to do... Let's pop that. We don't need more XP. I'm actually gonna drop you down t to the men. Um, let's pop you to 200 and you to 150. Because special skill XP is always nice. Uh, because it's useful because it makes uh, mixing, uh, making the skills Me? better, like, uh, easier to do. Simply because you don't have to worry about how much, because uh, it lessens the SP used is what I wanted to say. So I'm gonna upgrade this to double S, where it should take 4,000 S, uh, SP, but screw that. The way it is, doesn't matter. <laughs> and I could get to double S plus, but I need 20,000 mana. If I'm gonna have that much mana, then I might as well just buy one of like, the final abilities for her. Uh, because she has the bunny year radar for 30,000, which is amazing. I do need to go, uh, I will need to reincarnate some people, because, uh, reincarnation actually makes the Kara world, uh, reset. Not reset what it did to you, but it resets the mana used for each, uh, level of it. 
So basically it goes uh, 100, 1,000, 10,000. It just multiplies it by 10 each time the amount of mana you need, I believe. I've never done a 10,000 one. Uh, because that's just a lot of mana to use. But if you reincarnate, uh, you can essentially... Uh, it goes back to 100 while keeping all the effects that it did, which is really nice. Um, is there anything... Strength and special skill, I need to get to level 6. That's not bad. Uh, Netherworld citizens, I need 10 citizens. I'm surprised I don't have that. Uh, I need to get to level 15 with that. Seductive demons, strange feathers. Is there any... Um, uh, are there any ones for the Carol world? Yeah, I can get that. That one's easy. Because I already have more than that. I'm just looking at the rewards right now. Okay. Well, review. Include that. Yeah, so now I got a raised flag. Continue research. Uh, whatever. So, with that, let's save. Go right there. So everything is, is as it should be. Uh -huh. Interrogate you some shit. bitches a little bit. You shit. So let's look at the prisoner list. These are the people that I can get. I don't have any of the Ifrits yet. So actually... Okay. Release the prisoner and welcome them as a citizen of the Netherworld instead of... Um... I guess... I'll do that? I'll do it for... No, screw it. You gonna do it? Go, go full hog. Go, go all in. Can't be a little bitch about things. Um, see, I'm wondering, like, what does Citizen even mean? Because I don't see them around. I wonder if it's just, like, uh, the Netherworld can only have so many people in it, so it randomly chooses, like, what uh, people to awesome. have, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe Citizen just doesn't mean anything. It's just a name. Um, okay. So, one more. Safety save. Boom. So, final map of... Where would you like to go, dude? 13. The two Killias. So, flowerful. Beast Claw Tip. You're finally here, warriors of the rebel army. <laughs> By the look on your face, you haven't found a way to clear your heart. All right, I'll kill you here. What are you doing, Sir Kilia? The fight has begun! Hmm. Why don't you unleash that power again? And if you think you could win, then prove it. I can't use that power. If I do, everyone will be caught in it. If I use that power, someone else will die. I told you before. The doubt in your heart is what's making you weak. So, wipe out all your hesitation, all of your evil intentions, and show me your true power. If you don't, I'll kill you right here. I... I... What's holding you back, bro? You're in the middle of a fight! He's right. Are you okay, Zero? Super damn it! You, 
you guys. The rebel army dies here. And it's all because they have an incompetent novice for a leader. I... I... What should I do? I just don't know. Why are you in doubt? Don't you want power? Then unleash me! As long as I have doubt in my heart, I can't defeat Void Dark. Not even with my old power. You'd be better off than you are right now. So hurry up and unleash me! No. You're just a doubt in my heart. It's exactly as Blood has said. I've been afraid ever since Lise was killed. The old me brought about Lise's death. That's why I was afraid to unleash my old power. But I was wrong. I was just blaming my past self and running away. You're the last one. You can't even protect what's important to you. What purpose do your fists serve? I have sympathy for your allies. They're going to die because they trusted an incompetent novice to be their leader. Don't fill his head with that garbage! My bro... My bro isn't a novice or incompetent! He's the best bro there is! Zorokin. That's right! Sir Kilia is... Stronger than anyone else! Because he's the greatest and strongest servant to ever pique my interest! Serafina. Julia's eternal rival is me! So he won't lose to you! If anyone's ever gonna defeat Kilia, it's gonna be me! Because I'm going to become the strongest overlord! Kilia won't lose to anyone. He'll defeat Void Dark for sure. He's the one my clairvoyance trusted. There's no way I'm wrong. Kilia is my savior! And not only mine, my mother's, father's, and everyone else from my home worlds. They were all saved by Kilia, Blip. This time, it's my turn to save Kilia, Blip. Red Magnus. Christo. Usalia. Bloodus, you're right. I did have doubts in my heart. I was afraid to face my heart, because I let someone who was important to me die. No, it was because I was running away. But I won't run anymore. Even though I may be weak, I have a lot of allies who trust me. Sir Kilia. I'm not going to run away from my weak heart anymore. I won't run away from my pathetic self. It's not about revenge or destruction. It's about the people who are important. That's why I fight with my fists. Amazing power! I've never seen anything like this! But he's not scary at all! Actually, his aura is so pretty, it warms my heart just looking at it, but... Bro, you're... you're powered up! Yes, he certainly is. Kilia has awoken his true power. Support from Kilia's friendships with his allies erased his doubts. Kilia overcame his anger, hatred, and sorrow from his past and successfully wiped out his evil intentions. Kilia learned the ultimate demon technique, final skill of Idia Holy Water. Sir Kilia, you've done it! That's the man I felt. I mean, who I made my servant! Hmm. You finally woke up. Now we can have a fight worth fighting. This fist. This oh. skill. 
I dedicate it to my irreplaceable allies. Ultimate demon technique, final skill, Avidia Holy Water! Oh, yeah! Oh. Yes! So, what we get here is something really cool. Look at him, look at how cool this guy is. He's like a fucking Super Saiyan, except better, because he's got like a Super Saiyan scarf. So, the cool thing about this is, because he's been a Cryo Blood Overlord the entire time. Well, after you find out. But, now, uh, Kalia, supported by his allies, has overcome his past anger and sadness. He has awakened his new powers. Ah, oh, yes, they changed it. Boom. Just boom. Teleportation. Boom. Teleportation. And now he has a video holy water, which has a power of A. It's unique. Which is good. Ultimate demon technique, final skill. And I'm not going to use it yet, because that's... That's for later. Yeah, let's, let's look at this. Rock'em, sock'em, eh? Okay, and now I want to take these guys out so they don't mess with him from behind, even though... I really shouldn't be worried about it. Meow! Meow! I will never run away anymore! I am super excited about this. Girly girly. Bam. 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 I only need one. And blood is his energy revenge mode. Oh yeah, and I forgot to send these guys back on their stuff. They have some unique moves. <laughs> okay, back to the cool shit. I think I may have just messed up a little. Yeah, he's got a bear fist now. Poison. Oh, you assholes. What is? No, Goldion. I have betrayed you many times. Once was from a half-assed final skill that injured your ribs, and then I ran away. Another was when the wound on your ribs caused you to become Demon General Bloodus. And... And one more was when I got your daughter, Lisa Rhoda, killed. I don't mind if you kill me, but now isn't the time for that. After I get revenge against Void, and turn you back into the great demon fist, Goldion, I'll offer you my life. So please snap back. Goldion. What the hell are you talking about? Have you mistaken me for someone else? Yeah. I guess I'm mistaken. Forget I said anything. I only need one big back. Ah, this one looks so cool. <laughs> oh, got highlights on his armor. Oh, you did 6,000 damage. Oh, that's actually pretty decent. I should probably uh, do something to get his. Poison off. This one. Don't over. <laughs> okay, and then. Motherfucker. You! Yeah! You! You! So this is why I thought I messed up. Because you can't get and attack again. Um. Let's go. Let me thank you. And then move Let's again. Let's go. And then attack again. He's gonna use a video holy water on his back. That's really cool. That's all. Ultimate D. 
demon technique, final skill, Avidia Holy Water! Let me thank you. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And that, now, he get, he, basically what he gets is three. He gets three moves. Uh, of course, he goes to attack Christo. How about it? The one who probably can't really take it as much. Uh, but good time to just use his Don't speed heal. <laughs> Bitch, no running away from me. I will face you head on with my teleportation feats. Unless we didn't see. Yeah, oh, that's it. Okay. I was making sure it was actually teleportation and not just me skipping the walking animation. Yeah, you ready? Uh, you know what? You know what? Gaga are friends in on this. Gonna, gonna surround you in friendship. Yeah, I'm just gonna put you there. Oh yeah, put yeah. you there. You're just getting backed up. Yeah, look at it. Yeah. your squad. Your squad rolling up. Boom, yeah. execute. Give me a brave heart. Oh, oh yeah, look harder. at that. So brave, so heart. Much awesome. Get wrecked, bitch. I'm gonna watch it again, because this is so cool. It's just comboing him. Ultimate demon technique! Combos. Final skill! Avidia Holy Water! You are pretty yeah, thank you. Oh. Yeah, that was good. You okay? God, he looks so cool. I I fucking love it, that form. It's such a cool form. Ugh. He escaped. B bro, I can't believe it. That was amazing. The ultimate demon technique, final skill, Avidia Holy Water. You were finally able to master it, right? More or less, but it's not complete. Goldion is still bloodless. Hmm. Something is still missing. Ugh. You've got all that power and you're still missing something? That was incredible! Let's put aside the final skill for now. We should just be happy that Sir Kilia was able to overcome his past. Yes. He has achieved the power to fight Demon General Bloodus on equal footing. We can stand tall. The day of the final battle isn't far off now. Anyway, it's all thanks to Kilia Blit. No, it's not. I was only able to get stronger because of all of you. Thank you. S Super, stop right there! You're a demon! You shouldn't thank us! You're gonna make me feel embarrassed! That's right, bro. We're all allies. There's no need to show gratitude. My! I welcome any gratitude you have for me. For example... Do, do you want a kiss from him, Flip? Don't be ridiculous! Well, I suppose I could tolerate giving him permission to kiss my feet. <laughs> Now you're the only one who hasn't changed, Serafina. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. We have a magical spear to destroy. All right, everyone. One, two, three... Lise, I found a new family. Don't worry, I won't fall into that misery ever again. I'll get revenge against Void Dark with my allies. No, that's not it. I promise I'll stop Void Dark. What? Aren't you going to tell me to disappear like always? I don't know why, but I'm now able to remain calm while facing you. I must have hated you so much, I couldn't control myself. I'm an idiot. You are me. 
Hmm. You finally understand. That's why I told you to unleash me. I was afraid that if I unleashed you, someone else would become a victim. I couldn't do it because I was too scared. I was scared, so I ran away. I'm so weak. But now, I can turn to my allies for support. I have a family, and I also have you. Are you going to accept my existence? I'm like your destructive impulses incarnate, tyrant overlord Kalidia. Yeah, I am you, and you are me. I might destroy everything. Are you okay with that? You are me, and I have changed. That'll never happen. You really are going to accept me? What a turn of events. I was expecting you to abandon me. Oh well. Now you can control my power without becoming reckless. See ya. We'll probably never meet each other again. Yeah. Farewell, Tyrant Overlord Kilidia. Kilia's heart overlapped with Tyrant Overlord Kilidia's heart. Kilia learned a new overload skill, Tyrant Revelio. This is what you wanted, right, Lise? The Demon Emperor's acts of aggression had clearly slowed down. Some saw this as a great opportunity to fight back, while others saw it as the calm before the storm and ran away. It's no exaggeration to say that every action the Demon Emperor took shaped the future of the entire Netherworlds in some way. Episode 13, End. Rosalia and... Kilia's 30 Year Recipes! Today, we're gonna make a dish we call Special Sweet Dark Curry. It's cooking time. Slice the ingredients you like, add water accordingly, and then boil. After a while, throw in the roux. And finally, make a prinny stir the pot for 30 years, non-stop, without any sleep, until it's complete. The secret is low simmering. It's called dark for a different reason, Blip. And when all that's been done, you have special sweet dark curry. Let's all thank the prinny, then enjoy it. Next time on Prin Can Cook, We'll be making active volcano curry flip. It's food from the heart. Salia! Usalia! Sir Kilia's curry is ready. Huh? Yay! It wasn't just a dream flip! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it's not. I like that dark joke. It's, it's called dark for different reasons. <laughs> Are you okay, Kilia? Haven't you been pushing yourself too hard recently? Hmm. You appear to be very frustrated over not being able to master the final skill. But don't rush yourself. Father told me that it even took him a hundred years to perfect that move. However, I think you can master it in less time than that. Even Void couldn't master that skill. The final skill is different than other skills. It's not about how strong or superior it is. Father gave Void many lectures about it. The road to mastering the final skill is paved by training your heart. My heart? This technique is such a pain. It doesn't come naturally to me at all. <laughs> you are the only one who thinks that, Kilia. I know what I did to Void was wrong. If only I hadn't come here. You wouldn't have left your family behind. I'm a plague. What are you saying? Father is the one who wanted you to inherit the ultimate demon technique. It's not your fault, Kilia. Void is the way he is. So Father was preparing himself for when Void leaves home. But Kilia, if you ever come across Void in the future, I want you two to become friends. Even though he is stubborn and rude, he is my only brother. 
Will you do it? I don't think Void will want that to happen, but... Yes. I have to tell Void as well. It will be all right. Void will always listen to what I have to say. I believe that one day, we will all live happily together with big smiles on our faces. Episode 14, Seraphina's Secret. Man, I wonder who this chapter is about. Whew. Anyway, you're the man now, bro. Yes. His overload skill was once taken by Void Dark, but he has attained a new one. How unexpected. Plus, it's an overload that can control the power of the fearful tyrant overlord Kalidia, Plit! Now, Sir Kilia's value has risen even more! Which means, as his master, I am worth even more, too! <laughs> what are you talking about? You're the only one who hasn't grown, Sarah! Silence! I've been perfect since the day I was born! Unlike you, I don't have any growing up to do. Is that so? I don't like the tone of your voice. Depending on your answer, I may not forgive you. There is just one last magical spear. According to the Prinny's information, it is located in... Gorgeous. What? Dun dun dun! Yeah, I obtained transformed Kilia's save icon. So I mean, gotta equip that immediately. Oh, where are you? Awakened Kilia. Oh, yeah. The music going on right now is the uh, opening, if you remember from episode one. It's a really good song. Probably one of my more favored, uh, Disco openings, cause some, like they're all nice, but some of them really just don't hit the mark in certain ways. Uh, better items at store. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, better, better items at store. Okay, strongly for in favor. Of. What do you like? You like shoes? I can get you some shoes, bud. Not, not as many as I would like, but... Okay, there, strong four. You don't like... Ugh, God, you're annoying. Like item none. You like belts. I don't use belts, so I have plenty of them. Even though I probably should use belts, but I don't. Okay, now he loves me. Cool. You like consumable items. Of course you do, you're an archer. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, god damn it. And you hit B, or Y accidentally, and it just leaves. Okay, you love me now. You don't like anything, you don't like anything. Yeah. Oh, you archer bitch, how dare you say nay? I wish I could start a fight just to attack you. I can't believe it! I gave you bows. I made you love me. How dare you? Just wanted you to love me, you whore. Okay, what are my cheats at? Cheat to um, your heart's content. I will. Okay, special skill and mana. Okay, I forgot what they were on, which is actually pretty good because I wanna, I wanna level up the oh, uh, video holy water, but mu much more. And that reminds me? me. First thing I should probably do is actually go here and boost it. Because right now, even though it is A rank, it was very, it was not a very SP conducive, it was very tiny. Um, okay, so let's save. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's another thing I want to do. Assembly K, 
Kilia. Yeah, you can change more colors of Kilia. Because now I'm able to change the color of him in his alt form. Which is awesome, and I love this extra color. Like, this one is, like, my favorite. Uh, yeah, this is yeah, this is my favorite uh, Kilia form. So, gonna make that. Uh, and now let's do this conversation. Come on, talk. Today's a great day to do laundry. So this is probably sort of a repeat of one of the first conversations between Serafina and Red Magnus, where she's uh, complaining about. I thought the Super Mario just did something strange, especially for him. Or was I just dreaming? I should do my laundry more often. Cleaning feels surprisingly good. What are you saying? So he's not used to doing laundry. He probably just leaves it up to the prettiest most of the time. If you remember, she was saying we need to burn all the clothing because he cleaned his uh, tiger stripe underwear with the rest of her laundry. So, hey Sarah, I was about to hang my laundry. Do you want to help with something? It's possible. Oh shit. Damn it. Can't believe it. it must be a mutation of fate or breaking news on genetics. Don't compliment me so much. That. It wasn't a compliment. How do you like my ti yeah, tiger print briefs? Aren't they super shiny? Cut that out, you're going to taint the purity of my Baylor gaze. How that's pure, I don't understand. Anyway, please don't tell me you were washing my underwear too. Oh, you mean that black string looking thing? Don't worry, I washed it separately. Woo, then it's okay. Wait, no, it's not. Because <laughs> you still washed it. Um, okay, let's see how my innocents are doing on the farm. So I have two working. Uh, I have. Yeah, right now my Durandal is my, uh, it's my, uh, subdued innocent, like, store slash, like, grinding weapon, because it's my best weapon I have. What? Uh, research, how are you doing? How are you doing, Ninja Man? Uh, all ongoing? That's fine. Do 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 do. Because I upgrade the store, let's go over here. Uh, Hero Punch, that's not bad, in all honesty. <laughs> See, now it's getting to the point where the store-bought items are uh, getting to the point where they are either better or nearly just as good as the things that I normally use, which is actually very good. Because now, if it's better and I don't have anything better in my, uh, in my uh, inventory, I'll be able to simply buy it from there, then go to the item mode probably, and do it. Unfortunately, like, I have higher level items, which can get me better items. Uh, which I can then equip, and whatnot. It's just, it's a, it's a nice chain in Why this game. Like go, yeah, it? you don't need to wait for a better item, you can go get it. Are you absolutely sure that the final magical spear isn't gorgeous? You're mighty persistent. Based on the information your printies gathered, I double-checked using my clairvoyance. The information is accurate. The last magical spear is in Gorgeous. With Red Magnus' scorching flame and Usalia's Toto Bunny, it seems like we're being targeted, Blip. Whether it's on purpose or just by coincidence, I'm betting it's the former. That's way more up Void Dark's alley. Seraphina Sis' home is in crisis. Let's hurry, everyone. Please wait. Are we really going to Gorgeous? Of course. Where else would we go, sis? What? Don't tell me you're gonna watch your own netherworld suffer. N no, it's not that. Serafina, do you not want to go because you ran away from home, Flip? Yes, that's exactly correct. I disobeyed my father and ran away from home because he was trying to arrange a marriage of convenience. If I return to Gorgeous, what will happen? Hmm. I see. I understand your situation. Oh, Sir Kilia, you truly understand what's going on inside my heart, don't you? All right. Then Serafina will stay here while we go save Gorgeous. No! You can't do that either! You're acting very strange. Did you eat something off the floor? 
No, I did not. I am the Overlord of Gorgeous, one of the richest netherworlds in all the three worlds. Everybody already knows that clip. That's why we need to go help Gorgeous. <sighs> I have no choice. I shall go with you. Are you sure? You don't have to force yourself. myself at all okay then hello this is Serafina this is an emergency activate plan B I won't hear any excuses we don't have much time either get it done or die trying So that's interesting. Like, why why doesn't she want us to go to Gorgeous? And it, it looks like a uh, King Scepter or a glass of wine or something. I don't know. I like the King Scepter. A netherworld that has everything one could ever desire. Ugh. Okay. So with that, I am going to end this episode. We will start episode 34, A, eh, with uh, going to Gorgeous. Not sure how far we'll get into it. We might get all the way through, or we might get like halfway through, as we do most of the time, depending on how long the uh, how long the stuff takes to go through. And quests are still not cool. Okay. Well, I hope you all have a very nice day. Buddy Bison, signing out. of the dis 32 of the dis 32 of the dis 32 of the dis 32 of the dis